Today we'll be learning about how to draw different features such as eyes, nose, mouth, and hair. To start off with, you're going to fold your paper twice to get four creases. And you should have divided the page in four. On the first corner, we're going to write down eyes. E Y E S. Eyes. Next up, mouth. M O U T H. Mouth. Next, we have noses. N O S E. And then last is hair. I might do a separate video, but that'll be just, this is be super quick. All right, for the eye, to do a realistic eye, you're gonna start off with a curved line. Notice how I'm drawing super lightly at first, okay? Barely touch your paper, we can you do this. You can't erase that. All right, next, half a circle and loop around. Notice how I did that. And close it off. Then we have our eyelids. On top of that, we're going to do another curved line. And then next, eyelashes. The key to doing eyelashes is to not think about it. Alright, that one's done. Also, I want to add a circle here, black part there, and shave the rest in. But I'm not going to do that. I want to do this quick. Alright. Another way you can do it is to start with the circle first. And then draw around it. Shape. And then you do the eyelashes, or if you don't want to do that, you can just make it thicker. Okay, next we'll be doing cartoon eyes. For anime eyes, something like this. You have the eyes in the middle, they curve out, and then just a suggestion of the bottom of the eye. And of course, the pupil in the white of the eye. All right, for Disney eyes, I'll be looking at Ariel specifically. She has a teardrop shaped eye. So you can start with a big circle, kind of loop up, make one eyelash. And then there, we do another circle. And then add more eyelashes as we go. But all her eyelashes face out. For instance, Tinkerbell's eyes. She has creepy eyes. They're super long, like that. Curve around. Her eyelashes are up there. And then her eye right here. It just depends on the cartoon. For DC Comics and just DC animated in general, they're more like anime eyes. You have the curve line, the suggestion of the eye. This is more of a voice. And then like that. Okay. Girls, more like Disney. Loop up. And then you close it off. And there's your eye. All right, moving on. Next, we have the mouth. With anime, anime is super easy. Just a line like that. Curve line for the dimple. And then a curve line for the bottom. All right. For girls, start with a curve line. Depending on what cartoon you're watching, it might look different. So I might have lips like this. We saw that with Tim Burton. Some I have lips like this. Have a 
up here. Or it might be something like this. It has a hip. This is kind of aerial as well. You start off with the top like that. Curve over. And then the bonnet. Lots of the 90s Disney characters have mouths like this. If it was open, you start off with the curved line, just like that. Curve line out, curve line out. Close it off with the curve line. And then the lip on the top here. Outline this part here and pause. Outline that part here and pause. And then a curve line that connects it all. And then you have your mouth, your teeth. And then a small suggestion of teeth right here. And then this part in the middle is gonna be black. Mouth. Okay, moving on. Nose. I'll start with the realistic nose and then do contour. So, realistic frontal fold. Start off with a circle, just like that. Then another circle on both sides. Take your eraser. And you're going to erase the middle part here. And then make a like a bicycle handle along the sides for the nostril. Outline it. And some more. This is where shady will come in handy. So we're not doing any shady. Alright. Bridge of the nose. Long curve line. Loop around and we connect it together. Bicycle handles for the nostrils. Put a pop. And there's your nostril. Alright, on to the easy cartoon one. Curve line that loops up, bend down, little dot here and there. Super easy. You can do just an owl. Some cartoons just have little dots that unify the nostrils and a line right here to front of holes. Just depends. Or if you're Mary Blair, she's a famous Disney artist. She does usually just a little curved line like that for her nose, which will look something like this. Big brown face, little dots for the eyes, eyebrows, nose, and then a smile. All together, it looks pretty cute. On its own, not so much. And then her hair. Super simple. That's Mary Girl style. Okay, on to the hair. Hair is tricky, but once you clean of it, it's super easy. The key to hair, just like eyelashes, is to not think about it, just do. So, I'm gonna start off with the boys. Don't forget your ears. Sideburns. Then you loop up, just like that. And just like that. And that will be your forehead. So all the hair either grows, goes down like that for bangs, or if you're doing spiky hair, it spikes up. Just like that. It goes out of your scalp. And 
Okay. Four things. Same thing. Start with the face. The ears. I'm just doing it super quickly. Sideburns. Side of your head. Hairline. And then based on that hairline, you can start doing bangs. Maybe you have messy hair like Harry Potter or Jack Frost. So this is where you can add all that extra hair in. You notice how I'm just kind of going to flow. Don't think about it. Okay. Nose, eyes. So. Okay. Let's move on to the girls. So if I'm doing Wednesday's hair, because I know you all love Wednesday, I start off by dividing her face in two, and then she has bangs that loop around. Just like that. Notice how I didn't draw the ears, mainly because her hair is going to be covering it. So she has bangs looking out like that. And then behind her ear, we do little circles to represent her braids. Her hair's kind of messy on the top, so I'm gonna go ahead and cover the ear up. All right, bangs, cover the ear up again. All right, next we're gonna do long hair. If you have bangs, you can do no bangs like that, or you can add some bangs and have straight hair. Maybe you want to have ponytails. Again, start off with the hairline. Maybe there's some bangs missing out. You can do a bow here. There's so many different ways you can do it. Do not think that if I want to do really curly hair, that takes a while. Make like a little cloud shape around it. And this is where it will get tricky and take time consuming, but it'll be really fun. You go in and make little LS shapes over and over to make the curls. These are called ringlets. And if you want to be super detailed, you would go in like this. So here's your S shape, or a wavy line. And you go around and you outline that to make that ringlet. I, I love doing that. I could sit here for hours just doing hair. It's so much fun. Or you can do a little piglet kind of curl like that. This will probably take a couple, maybe 30 minutes or longer to do. So that should give you a base idea of how to do different features. Alright, in the next video we'll be talking about how to do the proportions of the body.